appointed for man to die once and then to face judgment. You will be judged by God. Your riches will not save on the day of God's judgment. Repent, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved from hell. Details, Bible. Read the Bible, surrender to Jesus Christ, quit living for yourself, live for God. with the king are you friends with the king his name is Jesus Christ how do you get your name written in the book of life you repent of your sins and you say God I confess you are right I'm in rebellion I have a wicked heart of unbelief give me a new heart give me a new spirit cause me to walk and understand your ways and he will do it he will give you a new heart a new spirit and he will lead you in the path of righteousness he will bless you blessed is that man who walks with God I'm blessed we want to come out here and bless you bless you with eternal life you want the free gift oh God start the power being of God start being start being I told you you're God. I want that person. If that person, if that person repents, God forgives. Oh, God forgives. He forgets all your sins. He casts the gospel to the to the east and to the west. All God buries your sins in the depths of the sea. And remember, no more. All the sins that I have committed are forgotten. The rest of us stand useless. I have a clean conscience. I have a clean. You think? So do I. I'm a homosexual and I have a clean conscience too. I repent for my sins. Are you misunderstood what love is? Whether it's homosexuality, God's love. Whether it's God's love. Whether it's God's love. Whether it's God's love. Whether it's God's love. Do you want to read it? You know, we were created in God's image, but we have fallen from God's image. And what the Bible says. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes, resulting in righteousness, and a confession is made unto salvation. I confess I'm a Christian. I'm not ashamed. I love the Lord. He has done great and wonderful things in my life. Oh, and I want you to experience it. I want you to taste it. I want you to see the love of God revealed in Jesus, the God-man. God became a man, dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. You know Him? You know His glory? You know His beauty? Christ demonstrated his love towards you and me. I've received his love. He died upon a cross, was suffering. Many of you have seen the passion of Jesus. 
He rose from the dead that he might give us life. He said, I am the resurrection and the life, and whoever believes in him, even though he dies, yet he shall live. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to come out of the grave, and I'm going to get a new name, new body. I inherit the earth. I have a promise. I have a hope. I have a future. I have a destiny. What is your destiny? What is your hope? Would you have that hope, that conviction? Do you walk in his presence underneath his satisfaction and delight? Do you know what I'm talking about of walking with God and being friends with God? Wait, what? That's why I want you to experience. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is a man who puts his strength in him. I put my strength in him. I want you to walk with me and see what God does. God's a miracle working God. He will do great and wonderful things in you. Do you understand that? Do you have anything you believe in? What do you believe in? I believe in the Almighty Jesus. No, oh, come on. You don't have anything. I believe you're right. in Jesus. Well, you definitely believe in the Bible. I'm asking you to know. You think, you, you to understand know. that this guy your God. has no to fucking what? idea that anyone God. has any fucking idea. I'm not talking about Bible. following Jesus? the teachings of Buddha. If you follow the teachings of Buddha, you will end up in hell. If you follow the teachings of Islam, you will end up in hell. If you follow the teachings of the Roman Catholic Church, you will end up in hell. You can be a fundamentalist. If you follow the teachings of Mormonism, you will end up in hell. If you follow the teachings of Jehovah's Witness, you will end up in hell. It doesn't matter what. If you follow the teachings of yourself, your shit, of yourself, yourself, you will end up in hell. Whose teachings do you follow? You follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. This person, anybody who disagrees with him, in him, not only does he in Jesus, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. It's not in Allah. It's not in a Buddha. That's it's not so, in so the Baha'i. It's in Jesus oh, Christ. Is the era of only in Jesus Christ. There is only She might hear the truth, and the truth will set you free. See, faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. So God brings the word out into the streets through the proclamation, the preaching, the message of the cross, the preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to those who are being saved, it is the power of God unto salvation. I'm not talking about something that hangs around your neck. I'm not talking about something tattooed on your armor on top of a church building. I'm talking about a sacrifice, an offering to one who died in your place, paid your debt as the substitute for your sin, who became sin with all of your sinfulness, that you might be made righteous with all of his righteousness. Do you know him? The street meetings have gone. Dear God, we've all kinds of ministries around here, but Tyler goes to hell. How many churches do you have in mega churches in Dallas? I guess you can't find one street. I spent 50 years of my life in street meetings. Every Saturday night I went out at 9.30 till midnight and after. Every night, for whether it was snowing or raining or what, we went out to the same place and people came out of taverns and out of movie houses at 10 o'clock and stayed an hour and two hours in the cold. No air-conditioned buildings. No nice, no attractive singers. Just testament. I, I call her. One man said this man was in jail. This man used to run around with women. This man has a prison record. This man over there used to beat his wife and the transport. This girl was a prostitute and put them out, living flesh and blood. Nobody could argue. People would stand and say, why are you the only preacher in the town does this? I don't know, except God told me to do it and I do it. Well, that's where the lost people are. A man would be an idiot to buy a hundred dollar fishing gear and fish in his bathtub. And that's all we do in church. We're fishing with the same people every week. And people are dying without God. We travel the country, but I walk the length of England, I walk the breadth of England with five college fellows. We slept in fields at night, we slept in churches. We didn't get a penny wage in six months, and nobody ever said a word. Because at night, we'd kneel in the street at 10 and 11 o'clock at night, and people get saved in the street. You don't care a who where you sleep. We slept in sleeping bags for three years. Slept on the floor of churches, anywhere they'd take us in. But we had revival, the churches are still standing today.
So I come out here and I talk about it to warn you that you're in danger, America. You're not a nation under God. You say, God bless America, but we have multitudes of God. You don't even know the name of your God. You, what's the name of your God? When you have a little flag saying, United we stand. God bless America. What is his name? What is his name? You have no God. It's you, yourself. You rule. You reign. You do what you want, when you want. You are king. You are God. You sit on the throne. You govern your life. You make up your own rules. You make up your own laws. And you can easy Christ lives. Well, I've come out today and share about the goodness of God in the land of the living. The God is the living God, and He's not willing that any should perish, but all come to repentance. We're out here talking about the love of God revealed in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the God man. God became flesh and dwelt among us, that we may behold His glory, His beauty, His wonder, His greatness. He's an Without a personal... Industry, uh, you're just a little bit busy, so I've condemned...